Let's go and read. Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my pre-Christmas book haul, all of the books that I have managed to receive in the mail before Christmas. I doubt very much that any other books are going to be coming after Christmas just because of all the bank holidays and with all the postage things. So if I do receive any other books, then I'll make sure to haul those at the end of December or beginning of January. So I'm going to split this into three parts. I've got some review books that have come in the mail. I have got some books that I've got secondhand and I've got some books that I have purchased. So first of all, I'm going to start with my review books that I have received. So the first review book that I have here to share with you is Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. So this looks like a new cover change and I received this from the lovely lovely people at Simon and Schuster so massive massive thank you to these. This came unsolicited so I actually I haven't read this book yet so I feel like it's a sign because I do own the other copy of Burn for Burn so now I've got two so I can sort of make a decision on which of these copies to keep. But those of you that don't know what this book is about I've got the press release here so I'll read the synopsis to you. So this is about Lilia, Kat and Mary. They're not friends, they barely know one another. A chance encounter in the girls room proves that they have something big in common. The girls have all been hurt by a bully, an ex-friend and an almost boyfriend and now they want their payback and together they hatch a scheme to work in secret to help each other right the long list of wrongs against them wait for karma they're going to take matters into their own hands so i've heard it's kind of like gossip girl-esque so i'm actually looking forward to giving this one a read and this edition is now released it was released on the 30th of december so i just want to say a massive thank you to simon and schuster for sending this book to me i look forward to giving it a read in the brand new year the next review book that i have received is fierce fragile huts by sarah barnard and they are very very well known for the other books this is sent from han mcmillan and this book releases in February, on the 7th of February 2019. So massive, massive thank you to Pam Millie for sending this to me. So I've got a press release plus a letter from the author here actually. And this book is about a companion novel to beautiful broken things. So I'll have to read that first. It's about leaving the past behind, the friends who form your future, learning to find love and in all of its forms. Two years after a downward spiral took her as low as you can possibly go, Suzanne is starting again. She's back in Brighton. I've been to Brighton recently, so this will be awesome. And that's the only place that they felt that they belonged with their best friends, Caddy and Rosie. But they are about to leave for university. And when your friends have been your light in the darkness, what happens when you're the one left behind? So I feel like this is going to be like really sort of touching and it says here from the author that what I'm going to expect to find is new friends, old friends, music, a fair bit of crying, plenty to laugh about, sadness but also happiness and healing and a dog called Clarence. So I'm very very much looking forward to giving this one a read and review for you guys definitely in the new year. This next review book is called Enchante by Gita Trellis. So this is the book here, the proof book here. And this got sent by Pan Macmillan as well. So this is what the cover is going to look like, which is going to be absolutely gorgeous. So this is the best release. So I'll read you what this book is about as well. And this book is released on the 21st of February. Love Magic Revolution. Become swept away in the compelling, fantastical debut novel set before the outbreak of the French Revolution. It's a world full of black magic, romance, intrigue and politics. It's a novel to keep your imagination on its toes and win you over from the start to finish. Paris in 1789 is a labyrinth of twisted streets filled with beggars, thieves, revolutionaries and magicians. Smallpox kills her parents. Camille is left to provide for her sister and her brother. In desperation she survives by using the modest magic she has learned from her mother. A cursed talent to use which costs Camille dearly. But when her brother disappears, Camille decides to pursue a richer, more dangerous mark, the glittering court of Louis and Marie Antoinette herself. 
Using the dark magic, Camille transforms herself into the Baroness de la Fontaine and presents herself at the court of Versailles, where she soon finds herself swept up in a dizzying life of riches, finery and suitors. But Camille's resentment of the rich is at odds with the allure of the glamour and excess, and she soon discovers that she is not the only one leading a double life. It says it's perfect for fans of Les Miserables, The Night Circus, and the BBC TV series Versailles. So I'm actually really excited and looking forward to this. I know it's a, what a lot of people are actually anticipating to read next year. So I'm really excited about this because I read um, a book called A Sky Painted Gold and I really enjoyed that and that was like a historical fiction book. So I used to really not think that I would like historical fiction books just because they were based in the past. And now since reading that I absolutely loved it so I feel like I am ready for this book so massive massive thank you to Pam McMillan again for sending this to me. I really look forward to giving this read definitely in the new year. The last review book that I have to share with you is called All the Lonely People by David Owen. So this is the book here, it's sent from Atom Books and it came with this floppy disk. It says welcome to the lonely people. Escape, delete, disappear. So this book, it didn't come with the press release, but it's expected publication on Goodreads says it's 10th of January, so it'll be in the new year. So this says here, everyone tells Kat that her online personality, confident, funny, opinionated, isn't her true self, but Kat knows otherwise. The internet is her only way to cope with a bad day, chat with friends who get all of her references and make someone laugh. But when she becomes the target of an alt-right trolling campaign, she feels that she has no option but to escape, delete and disappear. It's a timely story about online culture that explores the experience of loneliness in a connected world and the power of kindness and empathy over hatred. So it's actually got some quotes of like reviews of people like Juno Dawson saying it's very cool, Non Pratt says it's dead good books, Alice Oseman says it's the best book that they've read in ages and someone else has said that it's compelling and completely gripping, Kiran Millwood Hargrave. So yeah, I'm very looking forward to it. I'm actually on the blog tour of this, so I'm looking forward to giving this one a read for myself. This is really cool. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And the floppy disk just brings me back to 90s. So massive, massive thank you again to the publisher for sending this to me. I definitely look forward to reading and reviewing this for you guys. So those review books are now out of the way. I've got some secondhand books which I got from this cafe and it was sort of like leave some books and suggest a donation if you want to take some. So I managed to pick up Hollow Earth by John and Carol Barrowman. Now, John Barrowman was in The Jungle. I loved him as a character there and when I found this I was like is this a sign because I really really liked him. So it says that this is about twins Matt and Emily. They have imaginations powerful that they can make it come to life with art. Their powers are sought by villains intent on accessing the terrors of the hollow earth which is a place where all the devils demons and monsters ever imagined lie trapped for eternity. If hollow earth is breached the wealth will be plunged into chaos and the hollow earth is breached the twins are as good as dead sounds really interesting I mean with shells and all that so I just thought I'd be interested in picking up his fictional book and then I picked up Haunting Violets by Alexandra Harvey so I read the Love Lies Bleeding which is a vampire series by them never actually completed that actually I'm somewhere in the middle but I think I have to start from the beginning again but this is a standalone this is about Violet who doesn't believe in ghosts but they believe in her Violet has spent years taking part in her mother's faked seances, putting the rich and powerful in touch with the dead, and their success has brought them a life of luxury that they could have dreamed of, and Violet is the prospect of society marriage. The last thing that Violet suspected was to start seeing and hearing the dead for real, but now she's haunted day and night by the ghost of a drowned girl who won't let her rest until her murder is uncovered. So Violet must use a chance to unravel the mystery surrounding the girl's death and quickly before the killer strikes again. So it sounds like a really awesome paranormal thriller. So I definitely look forward to giving this one a read. The last book that I managed to find in this cafe is called The Left Hand of God by Paul Hoffman. I've heard about this book. And yes, it's an adult fantasy. So I was just like, oh my goodness. And yes, it's, it sounds really interesting. So it says here that it's about Kale and this is just all that sold me. It says they told him he could destroy the world, maybe he will. 
So to read The Left Handed God is to discover a world of wonder and cruelty, epic grandeur and unspeakable tragedy. It's Thomas Kell's story. Before it's done, he will have loved, killed, outwitted, saved and portrayed those who cross his path. He will have no choice. The fate of the world lies in his hands. I just thought that sounded really, really good. So yeah, it's not really, it's not, it's really interesting and cool that I just managed to get this from this cafe and I look forward to reading it. So these are all secondhand suggested donations so I'm really really excited. Last but not least I've got three books I've purchased myself. These two I got from Sainsbury's so this one is Katie Ford The Christmas Stocking and Other Stories. It's a Christmassy book so I thought yes. And I liked the sound of the synopsis because it says help your best friend cook Christmas dinner and end up falling in love with one of the guests. Arrive on Christmas Eve dressed as a fairy, all set to wave your wand and give a young family their best Christmas ever. Spend an unexpected romantic Christmas honeymoon in a small cottage surrounded by the thickest whitest snow and fall in love with a handsome stranger on Christmas morning and his badly behaved dog. Host the post perfect host the perfect and most romantic Christmas celebration ever entirely by candlelight. So there's like seven, uh, so there's like six Christmas short stories which is perfect and I'm thinking I'm going to be reading this actually, I'm probably going to be starting this today actually because it's Christmas Eve when I'm filming. And then I picked up The Crimes of Grindelwald, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling, so this one was in Sainsbury's as well, reduced which was really good. Look at these inside papers, pretty cool. So I read Fantastic Beasts, the screenplay, so I'm looking forward to giving this one a read and seeing what this one is like. And the last book that I managed to purchase in this haul is The Almighty Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare, which is The Dark Artifices, book number three in the Shadowhunter world. I haven't actually started this series yet, but I am collecting them all so that I can begin them. This book is huge and it's massive, but I just like the fact that I've got it. I love every book that I've read so far in the Shadowhunter world, so I had to get it. I'm slowly making my way through the Mortal Instruments series again. I am currently on City of Lost Souls, which is book number five, but I'm also reading the Final Devices for the first time because I know that they do mention City of Heavenly Fire. There's some references from the Final Devices in there, so I don't want to get myself spoiled. And so I'm reading it now in like order of publication. So I'm currently on Clockwork Prince, and then I'll go back to City of Lost Souls, and then I'll go to Clockwork Princess, and then back to City of Heavenly Fire. So these are all the books on the back here. And then I'll go on to Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and then Queen of Air and Darkness. But I'll also be reading those side books as well, like the Tales of the Shadow Hunter Academy, and there's also the Bane Chronicles, and there's now the um, there's another one as well that I've been getting the ebooks of. So yeah, I'm slowly making my way through these series, but this is a beast, it's absolutely beautiful, and guys. Look at the inside, I'm going to take it off because it's so pretty. You can have it as a poster if you so wish, but this is inside. I just thought I'd share that with you guys, just in case. So I'm not sure if that means it was like limited edition or anything, but wow, I totally did not expect to get that. So yeah, so I'm really excited to one day get around to reading this series. I'm really really looking forward to it. So there you have it guys, those are some books that I have received for review, got from a book cafe as well as purchased for myself in the month of December. I know I remember myself even saying like I don't think I'm going to be getting myself any books in December apart from The Queen of Air and Darkness but you know I am just, what can I say, <laughs> that, that's all I could say. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you have read any of these books and what you thought about them. And I will talk to you guys in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know what books you're currently reading and what books you have managed to purchase in the month of December as well. My name is Katie. Thank you very much for watching my video as always. All of my social media links will be down below if you'd like to follow me elsewhere. Keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video. Bye!